in uh, this particular uh, video we will uh, cover how to actually perform an ANOVA on all the statistical tools uh, that we are covering in this series. So I'm going to show how to perform a one-way ANOVA test on SAS, SPSS, Statistica and also on uh, Rattle using R. Uh, first of all we will look at uh, performing uh, the ANOVA test on SAS. The procedure, we, while there are various uh, proc steps or procedures to do it on SAS, uh, the easiest that uh, I prefer is uh, PROC ANOVA. There are other procedures as well, so you can use PROC GLM or even uh, a PROC REG because ANOVA is uh, very closely related to uh, regression analysis. But we will cover it using PROC ANOVA as of now. The procedure is simple. Uh, PROC ANOVA data equal to data set name, the one, uh, the data set on which our variables and the samples are present. Class, the sample variable. The sample variable is the variable which divides our, uh, our, uh, our variable into the different samples. For example, uh, if we have three samples, sample A, B and C. So which is that variable which specifies each observation into sample A, B or C? As explained before, ANOVA is used for independent samples testing. It cannot be used for paired or dependent samples. The next step is model test var equal to the sample var. So the variable that we want to test is the test var. So model test var equal to the sample var and run. And that's all we need to do it and we get the result out. So I'm going to cover a few exercises uh, uh, in which we can use an ANOVA. The first exercise is on the HSB2 data set. Test if race impacts the academic score. So if I look at the HSB2 data set, I have uh, the various standardized scores this uh, for our students. So we have 200 observations in this data set. And we've been using this data set extensively to do t-tests till now. The question is that I have to uh, check is does race impact the academic scores? So we have a variable race or the ethnicity and it's coded like a continuous variable but this is actually an example of a nominal variable. So we have one uh, uh, which is coded as Hispanic, two is Asian, three is African American, four is white. So we have uh, races uh, in our uh, column C. So if I look at the data filter I see four different values of four different levels. While these are coded as numbers, these are actually categories. So we can say that our data set has got four samples of scores across these races. And we want to test does, does race actually impact the performance of the student across these scores. The null hypothesis being that race has no impact. For example, mean of race 1 is equal to the mean of race 2 is equal to the mean of race 3, which is equal to mean of race 4. So if we look at the null hypothesis, the one that we're going to define is that that mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 is equal to mu4 or race has no impact. The alternative, so this was our null hypothesis. The alternative is the exact opposite. It's simply that one of these samples, it could be anyone, is significantly different or race does impact. So we have four samples over here and if we want to do t-test then I have to pick up two samples at a time. I have to test uh, you know race 1 and race 2, then race 1 and race 3, then race 1 and race 4, then race 2 and race 3, race 2 and race 4 and finally race 3 and race 4. And that's a lot of tests to do and it'll take a while. Uh, what we can do in one shot if I only want to test the impact of race on scores I can do an ANOVA over here and that's what we're going to do. So I have the data set already in SAS. So I look over here in my uh, library HSP2 data set is already present and traces over here. I want to test it for one of the variables. So I'll test it for read first. So if I go for the presentation and let me just copy the, the syntax. I'll paste it over here. Let me close this table first and here's my code window. So proc ANOVA data equal to data set name. So which is data library name dot the data set name which is HSB2. 
now class sample var so which is the variable which is creating our samples over here so in this data set which is the variable which specifies whether it's a sample a sample b or sample c or sample d in this case it's the race variable which specifies each observation into following into one of the four samples so i'm going to specify the class variable as race so if you look over here this is race over here and i want to test the impact of race on read so the variable that i'm testing is read so model read equal to race and that's all that i need to do to, to run in anova on sas i'll just put in an ods html to get a a nice looking output on an html file i select my procedure and i press f3 i get the output in normal text format and as well as my uh, html format and there we have so this is the anova table that we are uh, concerned with and we've already covered uh, the uh, the sum of squared errors so this is the sum of squared errors uh, between samples so this is uh, the sum of squared errors between samples this is the sum of squared errors within sample the mean and the f value is simply 583 divided by 97 which comes out to be 5.96 now the question is is this f value in the critical region or not so is this f value greater than the cutoff for the degrees of freedom for 3 and 196 so unless you look at an f table you will not know but in uh, in sas uh, the f value is automatically converted into the p value based on the appropriate distribution and we see that the p value is 0.0007 so effectively zero the p value is the probability of null being true and we know that the f value is much greater than the critical value because let's say if the critical value or the test was done at alpha equal to 0.05 the p value is coming lower than alpha so if p value is low null has to go so the f value is obviously much higher than the critical value for this particular uh, distribution and we must reject the null hypothesis and go with the alternative that yes race does impact the read score if i want to test for write score i can put in write equal to race and run it again i look at this so four levels 200 observations the f value so it's coming for read again let me just check so model write equal to race yeah something go wrong all right let me just run it again Let me check the log, and there it is. So let me just open it up. So I've got it for right as the overall and over, and there it is. So the f value is seven point eight three. Again, much higher than the critical value, and the p value is low. So race is not only impacting the read score; it is also impacting the write score. And I can continue testing it uh, uh, for all the variables. So if I look at this uh, the test exercise asks me to test impact of race on all academic scores. So if I want to test it for read write social studies etc in one shot what can I do? Do I write multiple model statements in this procedure or I write one model statement and put in multiple variables? So if I put in model write space read equal to race what will happen? Will it throw an error? I run it. I look at the log. It's not thrown an error. So if I look at the output for the ANOVA, you can see I got two outputs. So I get write on top, and I get read below. So if I want to run it for multiple variables in one shot, I can simply write or the impact of race on multiple variables. I can simply write model var one, var two, var three, and so on. So I'm going to test the impact of all scores by race. So does race impact any of these scores? I have checked it. It impacts read, impacts write, but I want to look at math, science, and social studies as well. So I'm just going to put in math, science, social studies, and that's it. And let me just run this, and we'll get our result. And if I look at the output, 
I get an ANOVA for each of these subjects separately. So let's have a look. So I know for right, p value is low, race impacts. For read, p value is low, race impacts. For math, p value is low, race does impact. For science, again p value is low, it is impacting. Social studies, p value is low, it impacts. But if you look at uh, one thing, it's uh, it's pretty clear that uh, the p value for social studies is about 0 0.04. It's very close to the cutoff that we are doing. So if our alpha is 0 0.01, in that case, social studies is not impacted by race. All the other subjects are. If my p alpha is at 5%, then even social studies is getting impacted. If my alpha is 10%, social studies is impacted. But if I'm testing at alpha equal to 1%, in that case, all other subjects are impacted except for social studies. So again, using a, any particular hypothesis test, I can generate the p-value, the distribution. But whether to accept or reject is dependent on our interpretation of the level of alpha that we want to set. So at alpha equal to 0 0.05, race is impacting all performances. At alpha equal to 0 0.01, race is impacting all subjects except for social studies. So what alpha to keep, etc. It to totally depends on the situation and as I mentioned earlier, the cost of doing a type 1 or a type 2 error. So this was uh, the test of uh, race on uh, subjects. Let's look at the other exercises. Does gender impact academic scores? Now we've already tested the impact of gender using PROC T tests. So let's do it on ANOVA as well. So PROC ANOVA. So in fact, I'm just going to copy the syntax from here. So class is gender. And I'm going to model, let's say, only one subject for now. Right equal to gender. And let's have a look. I'll have to open it from here. Did we? So we got an error over here. So why did we get an error? We don't have a gender uh, variable as such. The variable name is female. So instead of gender as the variable, I have to put it in the exact variable name, which is female. So class female right equal to female and let's run it and we get our output log is fine and let's open the ANOVA table variable right the F value and the P value the P value is low null has to go so gender does impact right score so what about math score? Model math equal to female. Right? F value is low. It's close to uh, almost zero and the P value is high. So gender does not impact math score, but gender does impact uh, the right score as we've mentioned earlier. Now how does an ANOVA test differ from a t-test result. So let's try and check that out. So if I remember the procedure, it's proc t-test data equal to data.hsb2 and class female variable that we want to test is math run. So let's run these two tests together and see what's the result that we get. I'm going to close this. And we get our output. So I get the ANOVA. So ANOVA for math was coming as a 0.68, the p-value. That's not impacting. And what does a t-test tell us? So what's the p-value for the t-test? So if I look at the t-test p-value, I see it is the exact same value, so 0.68. So if I do a t-test for two samples, an independent samples uh, t-test, or if I do an ANOVA, the results are going to be exactly the same. So it doesn't matter. If I've got two variables, 
I uh, sorry two samples and I can obviously do a t test for independent samples test but I can also do an ANOVA over here in case I compare the two results both ANOVA and t test will give me the exact same p value and that's natural because the underlying theorem for both t test and ANOVA is the central limit theorem so based on the central limit theorem these are two different derivations of testing basically the same thing which is whether the samples have been extracted from the same underlying population or not and it doesn't matter for two samples if I do a t-test or ANOVA the result is going to be the same however when I move from more than two samples t-test cannot be used or I'll have to take two samples at a time and run a series of t-tests again but I might as well do an ANOVA in that case so in case of two samples use any of the tests it doesn't matter the result will be the same more than two samples ANOVA is pretty much the only game in town Let's look at the other uh, checks that we want to do. So gender we've already done. Does socioeconomic background impact the test score? So for each of the students, we have a variable called SEB, which is a socioeconomic background. It's an ordinal variable, which is classified as uh, low, medium, high. Low is coded as one, middle, uh, middle is or medium is coded as two, high is coded as three. So I want to test whether socioeconomic background tests these scores or not. And I want to run one PROC ANOVA and test the impact of uh, SEB on all the scores. So PROC ANOVA, data equal to data set name, HSB2, class. In this case, the class or the variable creating the samples is the SEB variable. So it's going to be class SEB model. And I'll copy this uh, statement over here. It's already got all the variables written out. Model read, write, science, social studies, etc. All the scores equal to SEB. Run. Now this will test whether socioeconomic background impacts write or not, socioeconomic background impacts read or not, math, science, or social studies. So these are five different uh, hypothesis tests being carried out in one procedure. This is not one test, this is five different tests or five different ANOVAs. Let's run this. One ODS HTML statement I'll add in. And there we have it. Let's look at the log. Yep, we've got an error. So let me close the data set to run it again. So there is an error in my procedure. It's PROC ANOVA. All right, I've given PROC ANOVA equal to, it's not PROC ANOVA, it's PROC ANOVA data equal to. Sorry about that. Now I'll run it again and I get the result. So let's see. So in the ANOVA analysis of variance, I get the ANOVA for all the five subjects separately. So let's see whether socioeconomic background impacts or not. Does socioeconomic background impact right? P value is low. Now last to go. Yes, right scores are impacted by socioeconomic background of the student. Read scores are also impacted. Math scores are also impacted. Science scores are also impacted. Seems all scores are impacted by the socioeconomic background. So this was our exercise of uh, doing a few ANOVA tests. We tested the impact of race on scores. The race does impact read, write, math, science, and to some extent social studies also depending on alpha equal to 5%. At alpha equal to 1%, social studies is not impacted. And if I look at the impact of socioeconomic backgrounds, at alpha equal to 5% and even at 1%, socioeconomic background seems to impact all the performances of the student. So that was doing a PROC ANOVA using SAS. And now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a PROC ANOVA on SPSS. So let's have a look at the data set in SPSS. Same data set, same procedures, the same tests I'm going to apply. No coding required. I'll simply go to the appropriate menu. The menu is the same where we go to compare means. And we were doing our uh, one sample and independent samples t-test as well as the paid samples. I go to the last menu option which is left over here to explore one way ANOVA. Click it. So I already have the variables over here. So let me just make it again. 
sorry so I need to put in the dependent variable or the variable that I'm testing so I'm testing the impact of all of these uh, testing uh, these variables whether they are impacted by race or not so this is all I need to do over here in the options I select the descriptive option is on so that I get the means across the samples as well to compare and I press OK and that's all I need to do so I get for read these are the four races that I get number of observations in each as mentioned earlier it does not need ANOVA does not require all four samples or all n samples to have the same number of observations it can handle unbalanced samples as well so for read the mean score for race 1 is 46 mean score for race 2 is 51 for race 3 46 and race 4 is 53 overall mean is 52 so this is the descriptive table and below this I'll get the ANOVA table for each of these so again between groups variance within group variance between group mean variance within group mean variance the F ratio and then the p-value which is the significance column over here impact of race on read it is significant race does impact read race does impact write race does impact math race does impact science and again in social studies I get 0 0.041 which, so, which is on the borderline so at alpha equal to 5% it does impact alpha equal to 1% it doesn't impact and that was uh, the impact of race on uh, on all the subjects if I want to test the impact of socioeconomic background I again go to the menu compare means one way and over I swap the factor from race to socioeconomic background I press OK and I get the results so descriptives here ANOVA results over here I look at the p-values all p-values are lower than alpha in fact they are lower than 5% they are lower than 1% so practically speaking socioeconomic background impacts performances of the student across all subjects and that's how easy it is to do an ANOVA test on SPSS moving on to Statistica I've got the data set already opened here uh, I'll go to the statistics menu again the same menu options which we have explored already for performing a t-test which is the basic statistics option click here and below the t-test options I simply get the breakdown and one way ANOVA option press OK very helpfully the variables button is over here it asks what is the dependent variable what is the grouping variable the dependent variable is read the grouping variable that we are testing is race for now press OK and press OK again and we have the various options over here the first option that I'm going to explore is uh, the analysis of variance I click here and I get the mean uh, so I get the total sum of squares the mean sum of squares with the between uh, within sample sum of squares the means within sum of squares the F ratio is already here so a similar output as we can see in SAS and SPSS and finally the p-value and as, uh, Statistica has helpfully uh, highlighted this in red so Statistica automatically uses a red font in case the p-value goes lower than alpha and uh, that is by default set at 5% if you want to set it lower you'll need to go into Statistica settings if I want to test the impact of uh, variables in one go I just cancel this I go to the variables I select multiple variables over here press OK press OK again I click on and over and there we have all the variables uh, helpfully noted down over here we get the p-values and we can see race impacts all the variables and the same p-values so p-values will not change whether you tested in SPSS or whether you tested in Statistica or SAS and as mentioned earlier social studies at 0 0.04 again on the on the horizon uh, one of the other uh, you know uh, buttons or options which I I prefer about Statistica is this categorized box and whiskers plot and uh, to better explore this I'm going to reduce the number of variables here so we don't get a clutter I'm going to only look at read press OK and once I click on the categorized box and whiskers plot what it does is it it very helpfully plots the pox and whiskers plot for the four samples over here so I know for sample one 
the mean and median lies over here 25th and 75th percentile over here one and a half standard deviations at this point and this point so i can see the distribution of sample 1 versus sample 2 versus sample 3 and versus sample 4 it gives me a graphical view of you know uh, uh, where do the beads lie and how distributed they are so we can see for sample 4 the distribution actually very tight as compared to let's say sample 1 or sample 2 and we know for a fact that at least uh, when we take the uh, uh, when we take the alternative we know that at least one sample is out or one sample is coming in from a population you know uh, which is different from the all the others so it could be that all samples are coming from different populations or it could be one two three etc we don't know so for that we actually have to take two samples at a time and do you know multiple tests the ANOVA only tells us whether all samples are coming from the same population that's the null the alternative is that at least one maybe all are coming from different underlying populations we don't know which one we all we know is at least one is out so looking at this uh, box and whiskers plot i can actually try and figure out you know is it sample four which is coming from a different population or is it like sample four and sample two are one population and sample one and sample three are one population you know it gives you a graphical uh, representation and uh, a, a a hint or an indicator where your next set of analysis should be maybe i should you know create one and three tests separately you know test two and four separately it might you know turn out that one and three are from the same underlying population two and four are from the same underlying population and one and three and two and four are separately or are, are, are you know two groups which are different from each other for that you know i would have to actually break it down do two do t tests of uh, these two samples at a time so this was on uh, uh, the statistica so i like statistica graphs the best of all and now i'm going to, to, to show how to do this on r so on r it actually it's not very uh, straightforward so we have to do a little bit of uh, jugglery to do a uh, an over test over here so i'm going to import the data set and I have my variables over here. The variables that I'm going to work with are going to be, let's say, the impact of race. So that's my input variable. On social studies, that's also my input variable. So in fact, I'm going to make social studies as uh, the input and race as the target. I unpartition the data set. I execute. Uh, before I do that, I need to do one more thing. Uh, R is not uh, is not powerful, or Rattle, in fact, does not uh, use a race as a categorical variable. It will continue to use it as a numeric variable. So I need to do a transformation first. So I select race, and I say recode as categoric. Press execute. So in the end, I see a new variable has been created, uh, categoric. Uh, four levels so I go back to data so I ignore the original race variable that I have and I make the categoric variable as the input I need to test the impact of uh, the race variable on read so I select read as input social studies as, is, as ignore press execute and what we're going to do is we're going to use actually linear regression over here I didn't get the linear regression output. So let me see. Yeah, sorry. So this is the target variable over here. Press execute. Yeah, now go to model. So I'm going to use linear regression uh, output to show the ANOVA table over here. So which puts us in a quandary as uh, in our video lecture series, we haven't yet reached a uh, linear regression. But uh, nevertheless, I'm just going to go ahead and show you because every time we do a linear regression an ANOVA table is generated so I press execute here and I get the ANOVA table over here so you can see the ANOVA or the analysis of variance and I only need to look at uh, this set so you can ignore the other output uh, parameters as of now it shows that uh, we have uh, four samples three degrees of freedom over here the same sum of squares mean sum of squares the F value and the P value the p-value is 0 0.0006, practically saying so it's significant at 5% level. So it very uh, helpfully tells us it's significant at 10, 5%, and in fact at every level. 
and this was testing the impact of race on read. So if I want to test for other variables, I will have to actually go back, uh, set read to ignore, set write to target, press execute, go to model, again select linear, press execute and look at the F value over here. So again, it's coming significant. So if I remember correctly, it is social studies which is coming at the borderline. So let's look at social studies as the target. Press execute, go to model, click on linear, press execute, look at the ANOVA table and we get the same value P equal to 0 0.04. So no difference whatsoever irrespective of the tool that we use, we are going to get the same results. I'll uh, re uh, I'll uh, quickly recap the steps in Rattle. They can be a little confusing. Make sure that the categoric variable that you are using to create the different samples is coded as a categoric variable over here in Rattle. So if in the input, if race is coming as or whichever variable that you're using to create the category is coming in as numeric, you will have to go to the transform tab option over here and recode it as categoric. Set that categoric variable as the input. Test the, the test variable only, the only one variable at a time as the target. Set the, uh, the uh, experiment by pressing on execute. Make sure you don't partition because we are not doing predictive modeling yet. Press execute. Go to the model tab. When you click on the linear, it should automatically be clicked on numeric. So if you've done everything right, once you click on linear, the numeric option will be set already. And you can press the execute. You can ignore all the other outputs, simply look at the ANOVA table output and the F value and the P value. So this in a nutshell was uh, the ANOVA test and the exercise that we've done on ANOVA. On a related uh, take home exercise, uh, on the telecom data set. So we have another data set which is the telecom data set. And this is the, the data dictionary for the telecom data set. So telecom data set is in fact a very big data set. We've got plenty of uh, variables over here. And the data dictionary actually tells us what each variable means, uh, which variables are nominal, which variables are ordinal, which variables are continuous. So we've got a set of uh, tests that we want to perform. And I'm going to ask you to actually do these tests on your own. On the telecom data set, test if level of education impacts household income. So if I look at the telecom data set, I have uh, uh, the level of education as uh, the variable ED. So if I look at variable ED, it is actually classified as a numeric variable over here, but these numbers are actually different categories. So ED1 means uh, the, the customer did not complete high school, 2 means a high school degree, 3 means college degree, some college, 4 means a college degree, 5 means a undergraduate or a, sorry, a post uh, graduate degree. So we want to test whether level of education is going to impact the income. So income variable is uh, the household income in uh, thousands. The variable name is itself is income. So income is a continuous variable. So this is the income, annual income in thousands. I look at this variable. Then I've got the education variable, which is effectively, effectively divides my data set into five samples. So we want to test whether education impacts income or not. So perfect procedure or perfect setting to do an ANOVA where we want to test impact of education on income. The next set is test whether gender impacts income. So I look at the gender variable, region, age, so where's the gender? So there, gender variable, two samples, zero and one. So you can either do a t-test or an ANOVA. What I suggest is that you do, do both of them and if you've done it correctly, the p-value should be exactly the same. Zone impacts tenure. So zone is the region variable that we have over here. So the region variable is a geographic variable. So it's coded as one is zone one, two is zone two and so on. So how many zones do we have? So we've got three zones and the tenure is a months with service. So how long a customer has been with the company or in this case, this telecom uh, provider. So tenure is again a continuous variable, which is the number of months uh, in service for each of the observations. So again, a perfect setting, we want to test whether region is impacting the tenure of the customer or not. Uh, since it's got three levels, we can't do a t-test. This has to be done through an ANOVA itself. 
and impact of zone on income and age. So income is already over here. So does region impact income, i.e. is the income of the, uh, the subscribers the same across the zones or do we have zones which are different from each other, i.e. do we have high income and low income zones or not. So test impact of uh, zone or region on income. And we also want to test the impact of uh, uh, a zone on age. So we've got age of the customer in years over here. So do we have zones which are higher, which are you know younger or older than each other? So again, so they're in an over test over here. So plenty of exercises over here. It's very simple. Load it up into your SAS, statistic or SPSS softwares, and uh, uh, generate the p-values for each of these tests and uh, the alpha that we want to test it against by default is going to be 5%.